How's it going, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans? Glad you could join us for yet another preview of the 2015 NFL season. Today, I'm talking about your team, the worst team in the NFL last year. I had it last year at the end because I didn't want you guys to be mad at me. Uh, I don't think you guys will be the worst team this year. So there's that. There are improvements to this team. Uh, the first thing I want to say is congratulations. You guys have an offensive coordinator this year. Uh, obviously, there was the health issues that kept uh, Tedford out of being your offensive coordinator last year. You had to have, I believe it was the quarterback's coach that was actually filling in for your offensive coordinator. So if that vertical offense does actually get transferred over from Atlanta to Tampa Bay, there's actually some good things that could be happening. Uh, with Jameis Winston out there, you know, number one pick overall, you expect him to do great things or at least pretty good things. I mean, I don't know if we can expect, you know, the immediate transition of, uh, of a Cam Newton or, um, you know, Russell Wilson, uh, Sam Bradford, even in his rookie season. But I, I would expect something good out of him for sure. And when you have Vincent Jackson, you have Mike Evans, you have uh, Safarian Jenkins out there in the tight end position as well. There's some good options uh, for Jameis to throw to. He doesn't necessarily have a great option. Uh, you know, there's not the guy who you know, okay, this is where we are going to go. Most of the time, this is the guy who's going to score us touchdowns. Uh, this is the guy who's going to go up and get it. There's not necessarily that on this uh, Buccaneers roster right now, but it's a good start. And when you were a 2-14 and 14 team last year, you don't need to go and get into the playoffs right now. You just need to move in the correct direction. Of course, we still have Doug Martin out there. He's going to be fantastic. He's a great running back. Um, so, like I said, offense, don't expect miracles out there, but at least this offense is not going to be losing you any games. Now, when it moves over to the defense, interesting. I, I don't know. Uh, the first thing i got to mention, of course, is Chris Conti. It has to be mentioned as a uh, Chicago Bears fan. Because is he actually going to start? He can't, right? He can't be your starting strong safety or free safety. Uh, he can't be either one of those. He can't be anything on this roster, right? Um, I, I just don't know. I don't know what the plan is out of Lovey Smith. And, of course, getting Peanut Tillman out there, too, uh, that's a great corner to have if he stays healthy. You know, if he gets hurt, like he pretty much has always gotten hurt recently, that's it, then you're just going to be disappointed. Uh, another guy I want to mention, uh, you know, all these guys so far have relation to Chicago, but Henry Melton, uh, coming from Dallas, used to play with Lovey Smith in Chicago, and when he played with Lovey Smith, he was Pro Bowl caliber. And I think getting him reunited with Lovey Smith is going to do great things, even if he did have some injury problems before. Uh, the, the only thing that I do really kind of think should be mentioned out of the the free agency period here for them, uh, I do like Bruce Carter. I think that will be I think that'll be a good pickup as well for the inside linebacking position. When it comes to what's important here, that's going to be the pre, uh, the actual season, the schedule. Got to talk about the schedule. Uh, so let's go down and let's talk about these games. Titans. I think that the Buccaneers are a better team than the Titans are. So I'm going to have to give that one to the Buccaneers. Congratulations, guys. You're already halfway to tying your winning record of last season. Then we move on to the Saints. Mm, probably not. Texans, probably not. Panthers, maybe? Maybe. Uh, I'm going to give that one a no as well. Uh, but it might go down to the wire. Jaguars. The Buccaneers can beat the Jaguars. Definitely can happen. The Redskins, hey guys, the Buccaneers can beat the Redskins too. That is three wins. You guys, congratulations. You have beaten your record of last year. Let's keep going. We have the Falcons, mm, probably not. The Giants, maybe. I'll even give you guys that one. Four wins right now. Uh, then we had the Cowboys, no. Eagles, no. Colts, no. Falcons, probably not. Saints, probably not. Rams, maybe, but I'm not going to give it to you right now. Uh, Bears, I'm sorry, Lovey Smith, but you're not going to beat your former team in Chicago as much as you would love to do it. It's not going to happen. Then finally, one more game against the Panthers. I'm giving the split on that one. So, four wins. That's something. 
That is definitely something. I will give a best case and worst case scenario. I think your best case scenario, if you are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, six wins, your worst case, two wins again. Uh, you can't go two wins again. You really can't. Um, Jameis Winston, what do I expect out of to? Uh, what do I expect to see out of him? I definitely think he's going to be a good rookie quarterback. I don't think he's going to be a great rookie quarterback. I don't think you're going to the playoffs or anything like that. But you're not going to sit there going, man, we really should have taken Mariota. That's the guy we should have grabbed. Uh, with that being said, if you guys disagree about anything that I said, let me know down in the comment section or on Twitter at the Mark Weber. You can follow Most Valuable Podcasts at Most Valuable Pod. You can also go into this direction if you want to check out our NFC South preview. Until next time, when we continue previewing teams from the NFC South and the rest of the NFL, we'll be here. Hit that subscribe button so you know when our next video goes up. Don't forget that we started a Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash most valuable podcasts to check out all of our reward options. Remember, you can still get our content for free by subscribing to our YouTube page. But if you want to support us financially, now you can be rewarded for doing so. The link's in the description. What are you waiting for?